everybody. Fatbird Finds here. So today we are in Joy's truck. We're in Laura's mom's truck. She's loaned it to us. And we have a really cool, unique opportunity before us today. We're going to go like through a big garage of stuff. So do you want to tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? Yeah, that's right. Um, so as you know, my mom has a brick and mortar antique store. Um, we're in a small town, so she gets lots of opportunities where people have bought things from her and they get sold back to her. So uh, the owner of this estate um, has contacted her um, when everybody has the last person has passed away. There's no family left or anything. Right. So they called her to come and just make a bid to buy everything in the house. And that's what she did. And um, so there was a garage full of things that just really weren't her style. Yeah, so yeah, so she's already gone through the house and has taken the things that she wants. And now she's given us the opportunity to go in as like a second go around to see if we have, if there's anything in there that we want. And it's going to be fun because, it's I mean, the garage is just like it was left, you know. And so there's no telling what we'll find in there. That's exciting. It's mm -hmm. fun when you have no idea what you're going to come across. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go to this garage and see what we can find. We'll see you there. <laughs> So we have just gotten inside the garage. There are several tables with stuff on them in here. So I think, Laura, we have our work cut out for us to go through some of this stuff. I think you're right. The, the nice part is we don't have to get rid of the stuff that we don't want. Someone else is going to come in and do that. That's cool. So it's not as much work as it looks like. Okay. So do you want to just like start on a table and go for it? It's just a bunch of glassware over here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And stick? like we haven't, what is that? We haven't looked through any of this. So no. We may have to go back and research and talk about specific pieces later after we show you everything. What even is that? Um, do you think it's like a crumb tray? I mean, there used to be some fancy stuff. Like there was things that people would like sweep off the tabletop and stuff and, <laughs> you know, and hold stuff like that. I don't know if that's what that is for in particular. I know they made, yeah, I know they made silver ones. <laughs> Is this Vaseline glass? Hey, this might be. Um, let's see. Let me move this. I'm going to get us a black light, Mary Beth. <laughs> Check this out. Look, those repairs in there. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. See, I think we can definitely take some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. This is pretty. Now, what do you think, Laura, about the glassware versus like the the dishes and things? What do you think is more valuable? Well, it's really hard to sell um, a whole set of dishes just because it's so hard to ship. Right. So, I mean, I guess the most value is going to come out of the little things. Okay. But um, we're definitely not going to leave the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know what this is? I don't. This right here? Excuse my gloves. <laughs> it's kind of cold today. That is a master salt. What does that mean? So have you seen all the little bitty, um, like little sets of salt cellars where you set them at each individual plate? Yes. 
Yeah, that, so those have gotten collectible lately. Well, there's all there's a master salt, and you can refill the little. Seriously. Yeah, the, the, there would be matching little salt cellars. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and I heard recently that all that stuff is coming back. You know, you for a while, of course, that's too fancy. Nobody eats fancy like that unless you're like having a state dinner or something. <laughs> but um, people have started making their own salts. That's Gour cool. Gourmet salts. And so those are coming back into style. They're getting on eBay and looking for little sets for a party or something to show off their gourmet salts. Okay, what about silver? Is silver very valuable? Well, it just silver just doesn't sell very well because people don't entertain like that anymore. That's right. the problem. Used to, that was just the fanciest, nicest thing. Like, people would give them as wedding gifts, even up through the 80s. You know, you wanted to get some good silver. It's pretty. It is pretty. But uh, it's just not as desirable anymore. People just don't don't like to use it. Look, something like this is kind of a good eBay sell. Seriously? Right? I think so because it's... PBS home video jazz. <laughs> I just think that it's... It's never been opened, and I, I bet you that there's a market for that. I might be wrong. Are those, are those VHS tapes? I don't really think they are. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I don't that's know. fantastic. Yeah. A film by Ken Burns, and it's like eight. <laughs> and it's like all of this. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. So, in the spirit of getting overwhelmed, we've decided to make a pile of stuff in the middle of this garage to box up of the things that we absolutely want, like taking the top picks off of, off of each table and uh, maybe leaving some of the stuff we're not sure about and coming back to that at the end. What do you think about that, Laura? Yeah, I think that's a great idea because it's kind of overwhelming because, you know, you kind of when you're like me, you're a hoarder, so you hate to lose anything. So we definitely have to go through and get the nicer things before we, you know. You're not a hoarder. Give up. But look, this is a good example. Like all this is kind of a hodgepodge of things that people have collected to go together. Okay. But like this, it's it's cute, but not so great, right? Because look, see, it's modern. It's just microwave safe. Oh, yeah, I got gotcha. Oven to table. Yeah. But this is really cool. Look at that. It just looked like a stack of plates, but look, it's kind of like a cake stand or something. It may even be a monogram there. See, you're really good at finding stuff in the middle of piles of junk. See the mark? I'm not sure. I'll have to look that one up. Huh. See, I just look at this table and I'm like, man, do we really want to fool with all this stuff? And Laura's like, look at this treasure in the middle of... And I think you picked up a dish that was not marked. Yeah, I picked up this one, and I was like, do we really want to fool with this stuff? Because it's not marked at all. See, I think they have added those, because these, however, are Havilland Limoges, and that's really nice. Gotcha. And at one time, I had a whole set of, I have one somewhere, a set of gold room china, so it's hard for me to leave these behind. Okay. So, I don't know. But we'll... Okay, so let's, let's keep going, and then okay. we'll come back to this table. Okay, sounds good. It's sad when there's not anybody to pass on sentimental things to. Yeah. It's a little bit sad. Look at that. Is that like a tomato or a pepper or something? Oh, yeah. Look, we need that. I think they call this tomato wear. Seriously? Yeah. I, don't, I guess it's kind of like a slang term for it or whatever. Look how cute that is. Does it have any sort of mark on the bottom? Yeah. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Look, it's got the sticker. So, it's probably like what? 40s or 50s? That's cool. It's Japan, but I don't know that name. You know, sometimes they're Norcrest and Napco and stuff like that, but I don't know what that one is. That's cool. So, yeah, so, that one needs to go in our pile. Yeah. Tomato wear? Did you just make that up? <laughs> no, I really think that's a thing. You guys tell us in the comments if I'm right. Man, I was hoping there would be, like, stacks of cash in there. Oh, I know. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> so, we're finding lots of stacks of, like, pictures. I don't really feel good about taking pictures on the one hand you it might feel weird. like you're rescuing them but what would you ever do with them exactly oh look here's something that was probably a gift that never got used what is that it's like a little green pepper that's a ornament. tomato a what it's a green tomato <laughs> oh is it like fried green tomatoes is that tomato wear <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I'm glad you learned a new word, but I don't think that's what this is. That's. I thought it was a pepper. That's definitely a tomato. Yeah. You guys will comment below. Pepper <laughs> or tomato. I'm going tomato all the way. Do you want the tomato? No. I think your mom might want the tomato. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. There's some stuff in here. There's like a little church. What looks like a little church in here. Oh, that's cute. Oh, he's broke. Oh, that sucks. What what did, what did that say in there? Just mm -hmm. numbers or something? Yeah. That's not very exciting. Don't make that play. It's probably creepy. <laughs> Here's some old newspapers. Yep. Yeah. What else is in here? Some angels. What is that? Hey, oh. look. It's an old Santa Claus. Hey, Ashley Rose would probably like this. Ashley, <laughs> comment down below if you want this little guy. We'd be willing to send him to you. I've been <laughs> looking for something to send you anyway. Is he just too creepy, though? I don't know. He kind of looks like he belongs in Star Wars, but what is he? Well, it's it feels kind of like terracotta. Okay. He's got a little basket of goodies. He's kind of cool. I don't cool. know. He might be kind of cool. Let's keep him. Ashley might might feel like she wants that. Oh, I bet she would like that too. What is this? Yeah, he's in the chimney. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's pretty darn cute. <laughs> and he's a little TLC. A little dusting off. Right? That's kind of cute. Yeah, let's keep what? those. What does that say? Well, at some point in its life, it was $33. $33. Nice. <laughs> we'll hold on to those. All right. I don't think there's anything else in this box. There's oh, my. Old... Hey, it's a fat bird. It is. Look. <laughs> what he's is a... he, Mary Beth? I think he's a quail. Oh, it's, it's real feathers. Really? I think he's a quail. Maybe we should keep him. I don't know. <laughs> Here's some old check registers. I don't think we need those. No. Ooh, what's got, in there? You gotta look through everything. Yeah, see, I'm a I'm easy to give up, and Laura's like, let's oh. just keep on going. Ooh, what is that? Oh, you know what that is? Oh, it's um like wax stamps mm -hmm. for your letters. Yep, it's That's an L. Cool. An L for Laura. It's an L for Laura. Mm-hmm. Those are like is. little thumbtack hooks. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. Those are cool. That's the wax that okay. you melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute. Yeah, let's hold on to that. Okay. I like that one. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get around this table and go over here. Yeah, what do you think about that angel? Some of this stuff is modern and some it's, of it is definitely old. It's modern. Yeah. She kind of, she's supposed to light up. I don't know. What do you think, Mary Beth? Yeah, I don't know about it. <laughs> Here's some cool... Little wooden boxes over here. Those are cool. I wonder if there's anything in these. Probably mice. These are too oh. <laughs> hey, this one's a little bit this one's a little bit damaged actually. Oh, is it? Deposit tickets. Oh my gosh, this is like old record keeping of some kind in here. Some of those look like old layman's receipts. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe where he bought something valuable. Oh, this one's empty. That's a bummer. Except for this really cute little lock in here. There's a lock and key that go with this little box. Oh, that box is cute. I like it. And it's got, it's like inlaid with some fabric. Little mirror on the back. Yeah, let's keep this one. Oh, it's it's got a, some sort of little mark on the bottom. If I can. It's dark in here, I apologize. I don't know what that says. Pillioid, Swanton, Ohio. Hmm, I've never heard of that. It's not a sticker. It's like engraved in the wood. So that's kind of cool. Here you go, Laura. I like that. Can you reach it? Yeah. Got it. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I like that one. So there's some like little, what do you call those? They're like little cooking pots warming stations this has got like a little spigot spigot yeah, this is yeah they're called chafing dishes that's what you call them okay and you know 
They're for parties. You, you keep your food hot in there. You put the little burner lights underneath there and it keeps the food hot. Gotcha. I mean, is that anything that we would want to take and sh try to sell? Yeah, we need to think about that. I love that pretty tray. Okay, so maybe we just leave that on the table as a thinking. Yes, thinking about. There's all kinds of old little pictures and cute little frames in here. And, you know, I just... So sad. I don't know what happens to things like this. These frames are really pretty. You should try to find your personal items at home, I think. I think you could take a lesson from that when you get older. Yeah. Try to kind of give some of it away and... Yeah, it's sad when there's not really any... Pass down some pictures and things that are old that nobody else is going to know anything about. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad when there's not really a lot of family to leave your stuff to. Anyway, not trying to make this a sad video. I think we'll take some of these little easels and make a box for mom. Because, you know, she can use those in the store. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. She would appreciate that. Did you want to take this box, even though it's uh, a little bit of... It's got a little bit of damage there on the corner? Um, I like it. Okay. Here, I'm going to hand that to you. Uh, oh, oh, here's some little stands and stuff that your mom would probably like. Oh, yeah, that's good. What is in there? Ooh. <gasps> those, you know what those are? Yes. Those are doorknobs, aren't they? Mary Beth, you would want those. Oh, yeah, I love glass doorknobs. They're like screw-in, <laughs> though. Is that typical? They, They've got like... Now, these aren't. These are, like, more of what I've seen before. These are, like, pulls, aren't they? Yeah, those are, like, drawer, drawer, drawer. So, these, though, I mean, is that a typical doorknob? It's like you screw that in, right? Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe, though, because, you know, there'll be a hole where you put the doorknob, and then there's probably some sort of large um, fitting that screws onto the back of it to hold it in place. That'd be my guess. Yeah. These are kind of cool. Maybe we'll take those with us. Oh, we should definitely take those. There you go. Uh, more pictures. Oh, there's another little stand. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and here's a pretty one. Oh, that looks like a music stand almost. Mm -hmm. Kind of. That's cool. Hey, you know what this is? No. A snuffer. Ah, yeah. I do you know what it. that is. <laughs> I know some things, Laura. <laughs> well, uh, that's what I said. I was asking you. You can't be the expert on everything. Here's some more glass uh, pulls and knobs. Those are fun. Ooh, here's some ceramic piece down here. I can't reach it. It looks like ceramic. I'm not sure if it is or not. You see that? It's white. Mm-hmm. Let's see, it's cr that's crazy, and that's real crazy. You know, we talked about it in one of the other videos. Um, which does, I mean, for a true collector, that would devalue the piece by quite a bit. I kind of like it, because I think it makes it look old, and some people do like it. Okay, so what you is know? that? It's like a sconce or something? Mm -hmm. oh, modern, isn't it? Maybe it is. Maybe this is modern crazing. Larry, oh, yeah. Larry Keeling, 2009. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty, though, right? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Looks kind of like a spaceship from the side. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Nice. It's so dark in here. I know. Oh, it's just a chain. That's weird. Or light fixture. Yeah. Okay. All right, some more pictures. I don't know what this is. It's a brick. What is this? Oh, you don't know what that is. You have to it. You mean I thought you got it? You have a lot of faith in me. Set it up. Oh, right here. <laughs> Set it up. Yeah, like that. Like this? Yeah. So it's a book holder. Oh, of course. So, if you want to have an old family Bible or something that you want to display opened up. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Well, let's definitely take this. That's cool. 
And it's really pretty. I like that. So Laura just went to take a load to the truck and I found on the ground this boxed Pinot Noir from 2012. So can we say that this is a vintage wine? Can we say that this is aged well? Laura. Yeah. Look what I found. What is it? Some vintage wine. It's boxed Pinot Noir. Awesome. <laughs> from 2012. Do you want to have that now? Yeah. <laughs> do you think do you think this is considered a vintage wine? Pinot Evil. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that this is uh you think that this is aged well? I think so. <laughs> it's good enough for me. Oh, that's great. Look at this little pot. This little kettle. That's cool. I like that. I think that egg basket might be worth something that mom might take back. The what egg basket? Right there next to it. Oh, this. That's cool. Oh, that reminds me. There was a few things that mom kept outside. I mean, kept from the inside of the house. Oh, yeah? Um, that she knew we would want. And so... If you want to, I can show those things to you. Okay, where are they? Uh, this is one of them. Still in their little Christmas box. But they're uh, mid-century linens. Are they like tea towels? Mm-hmm. There's one. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at her. I think they'll wash up nicely. And then these, look, they've got the little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the little needlework on them. I like those. Isn't that sweet? And I haven't looked. Oh. Prob probably every day of the week is here. She irons. No, she's going to church on Sunday. Yeah. She's washing on Monday. <laughs> Ironing on Tuesday. She's quite the little woman. <laughs> oh, look, they're all there. Wednesday, she's watering her garden. Thursday, she's going out. Look at her. She's like, I'm going out today. She's resting. Oh, she's got a sweep on Friday. <laughs> and bake a pie on Saturday. I love those. Isn't that sweet? Those are so cute. Okay, and then two other things. Let me find them. Yeah, where are they? Um, where's the... Oh. We got this, this little mini basket. And I don't know a lot about baskets and neither does my mom. Okay. So maybe some of our viewers might know. Okay. I feel though, I've got a good feeling about this one. I feel like it's valuable, but maybe, you know. Well, you know who knows a lot about baskets? Who? Not me. <laughs> I started to say, man, you're holding out on me. That's cute. Yeah, and then this. It's so cute. I have rediscovered, I used to know about these and I'd forgotten about them, but I rediscovered these on another famous YouTuber channel. And they are dressed in, it's a dressed in wreath. Okay. So it's brass and they're decorative and you can, you can weave greenery through there. Yeah. Or not, or just use them like that. But look how adorable they are. They are they're supposed to be fashioned after old fashioned chocolate molds. Oh. And usually there's something for every holiday. Oh, that's cool. And all these little animals. So this is Easter. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. And then of course Halloween. There's Santa. What about this like Puma? I know, they, they also have animals on them. Okay. And there's a Valentine. And here's this little hunter dude with this. For harvest. Yeah. Awesome. Isn't that sweet? That now, these are like valuable. So, the big ones, and I think there's a big one as well, but I just don't have it okay. today. The big ones can sell for several hundred dollars. Great. And I haven't looked the little ones up yet, so I'll be excited to, to look that one up. Good job, Laura. Mm -hmm. Hey, Laura. Mm -hmm. You can come over here just a second? Sure. So... 
there's a lot of like little bags of clothing and stuff just on the ground here. Mm -hmm. But this bag, I kind of pulled it out a little bit already. Just had an afghan just right on top. Uh -huh. So why don't we pull that out and, and look at that. Well, you know how I love good afghan. Yeah, I probably wouldn't go digging through a, a lot of these bags because we have found some boxes that have like some insect eggs and stuff in so it's a little bit gross but that I mean, was right on top you know we're in a garage after all you can't really expect <laughs> right not to see a little bit of that so that's kind of an interesting shape what is that like a hexagon or something yeah I'm, octagon I mean, maybe yeah i heard i'm sure that you guys it's have, a hexagon i personally haven't come across any of those and i kind of like it i think it's kind of cool yeah it's not typically the colors of something that we pick up but i mean it's right here on top and we might as well i think it'd be cute like as a table cover oh yeah like on but, a round table? Yeah. I don't know about that now that I'm thinking about it. But I kind of have envisioned it like under the tree. Oh. Wouldn't that be cute? Like yeah. to set it on the tabletop if you're going to use a tabletop tree. That's cute. Yeah. So, yeah, again, that's not typically a, the type of afghan really that we would pick up, but why not? Yeah, let's try to save that. Awesome. So, one more thing that I'm kind of interested in on this table. I mean, there's so many books, so much stuff here are these matchbook covers. And there's a bunch of them in here. And Laura actually has a really cool matchbook cover that we will do a whole separate video about in the future. And maybe we will put these with it when that time comes. But I'm kind of interested in these at first glance. So I think I'm gonna take these as well. And this is like in a big <laughs> ball jar. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see the logo on that or not, but I don't know if that's modern or vintage, but that's kind of cool. So, Laura, uh -huh. there is this quilt hanging up here. Yes. And I looked at it earlier, and it looks like it's in good shape, although it probably needs a bath. I was going to see what you thought about. Yeah, it probably... I mean, most definitely needs a good cleaning. I don't know. I just, I like it, and I would like it even probably for myself. So I think it's worth taking just to see if it'll wash up good. What do you think? Yeah, I love quilts. I know you do, so. For those of you out there who don't know, Paducah, Kentucky, where we live, is Quilt City, USA. It is. <laughs> so we have a big antique, no, excuse me. We have the National Quilt Museum. We have annual quilt shows, and yeah. If you're in Paducah, you've gotta love quilts, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I kinda like that. I think we need to get that down. You've, you're taller than I am. I, I okay, don't think I- Okay, let's see if we can take it. <laughs> Gosh. We need somebody taller than I got us. It. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just kinda wanted to recap. We are about at a finishing spot. I think, you know, we, we're leaving behind all of these picture frames. There's some like really modern stuff in here, as you can see. Some glassware that we just didn't really th think that we needed. Um, we're leaving behind tools that we don't need. Some glassware. We are going to take that lamp with us. So here's something interesting that we're kind of taking with us, but kind of not. So this is an old crystal chandelier with all these little prisms all the way around it. So we have inspected this. Not all of the pieces are present. So it's not all there. So Laura had the idea that we might take this and disassemble it. Are you okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really, it's really dusty it is here. so dusty in here. So yeah, I think that we're going to take this and disassemble it and sell it for like scrap, like sell the parts because Laura said that some people uh, lose parts or parts break off or whatever. And sometimes people need replacement parts. So we're thinking about, about doing that. Um, also, I mean, just junk we're leaving. We are going to take this um, picture, Joy just called us and said, uh, since we have the truck today, if we wouldn't mind taking that picture and that table behind it. So we're gonna take that back to the store for her. You know, all of these books over here, there are some really cool old books here, but some of them are water damaged. 
some of them are just so dirty so so much stuff to go through and we're not really in the book business i've rescued just since you've been filming i've rescued probably four or five that i think that i'll take home and try to clean up okay so that's cool at least it's not a total loss have you looked in that drawer is there anything in that oh, drawer no i haven't looked <laughs> be careful what if there's mice in there yikes it's a lot <laughs> Oh, what oh, a it's empty. shame. It's empty. <laughs> yeah. That was a bummer. So, yeah, we are pretty much done. So, let me show you the things that we are taking. Okay, let me get over here on the other side of the room. Okay. Oh, first of all, we found these really cool amber-colored goblets in a box. We are going to take those with us. Laura, I'm trying to shoot a video here. I think there's eight of these here. <laughs> Laura, what's this little greenhouse little thing? It's got a crack in it. Did you know that? Yes, but I think it would be cute even without the glass. What is it? It's just like a little conservatory, you know? It's just supposed to look like a little greenhouse, and people decorate with those. Great. <laughs> Good. I like it. So, Laura found some old books that she's putting in that box right there. Um, I did pick up this little ball jar full of matchbook covers. The matches are still on there and the strike plates, which we will let you know how important strike plates are to a matchbook cover in a future video. We've got a little wooden box, this little candle snuffer. This little blue vial is kind of cool. It says Baltimore on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Uh, so it's just some random glassware got some vaseline glass what was this called laura a salt something a master salt a master salt potato what was this called <laughs> <laughs> tomato wear i was just kidding <laughs> tomato wear i don't think that's a thing whatever <laughs> laura found this little yellow bowl that's kind of cool cool and our little fat birds that we found some more wooden boxes Stepping over stuff to get on this side. This is a green tomato. Laura thinks it's a pepper. <laughs> you guys let us know what you think in the comments below. A couple little Santa Claus guys. Ashley, let us know. And some more glassware. And of course, the things that we showed you earlier, this little wreath, basket, and the tea towels. So, Laura, let's go load up the truck. Is that good? Oh, the fun part. <laughs> the fun part, and then we will sign off. Bye, everybody. No, not yet. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Whew. We have done a better expert packing job before in our lives, Laura. <laughs> just so you know. We have or we haven't? We have. Yes. We just kind of threw all that in there. But we got it. We got it all. Good job. It was an afternoon's worth of work. Yes, it was. We about ran out of daylight. The sun is setting over yonder. And we're done. So we're going to go unload our stuff at Laura's house and Joy's stuff at the store. And we will be signing off shortly. All right. Okay, so we did it. We did it. We unloaded. We're back in Laura's car, so we look more normal in the shot, I think. Yeah. <laughs> the truck was huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So Joy was really excited with, we took her three lamps and a table and painting a big, huge painting. Mm -hmm. So she was real excited that we unloaded that stuff for her. Um, we unloaded all of our stuff at Laura's house. It was a big truck load. Yes. So yeah, we'll be putting that stuff on eBay over the next few weeks hopefully maybe we should do a whole video maybe we will mom gave us a crazy quilt you guys would love to see that yeah it was really cool and a couple of things after we get them cleaned up okay so maybe once we go through it all and clean it all up we'll go through it all and tell you what we're going to put it up on ebay for sounds good okay so as always i hope that you guys will subscribe to our channel we really appreciate that leave us a comment give us a like and stay tuned to see what fat bird finds next see you next time Oh, 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 oh,